Hello, my name is Alexander Schatten. Today I'm talking with Heinrich Steininger from the Austrian company Logicals, who is also a partner at the Christian Doppler Lab. Welcome, Mr. Steininger. Hello, Mr. Maybe you can uh, tell us a little bit about the company Logicals and yourself. Uh, Logicals has been founded now 25 years ago with the goal to provide the industry with neutral solutions in the, in the automation tool field because we have seen that uh, all the programming tools used at that time have been specific to, uh, to the hardware of the vendor and produced a lock-in for the users who developed automation solutions. And our idea has been to implement a target-neutral graphical programming system and offer it to the industry. And that was what we started with, and we have been developing over the time uh, different solutions around uh, this core product logic hat, which has been quite successful in the recent years. Now, from your experience of the last 25 years, what challenges do you observe in the last, let's say, 10, 15 years in automation engineering? Uh, how I said, uh, we have been developing different tools for the automation field and we saw that the integration of these tools with other tools used uh, in, in developing automation solutions for larger plants has been uh, an increasingly complex problem. Complexity in general is, is a major issue in automation industry because the plants are getting bigger and more complex in the solution. Different people are working together using different tools. Is one of the reasons also because software in itself got a higher importance in the last decades? Of course, the software is integrating in the final solutions all the different, uh, different domains and software has becoming more and more important, of course, that's true. So you have a, a chain of tools in, your, uh, in the portfolio of your company. And what experience do you have from the development of this tool chain? Uh, we saw that there are gaps between our tools and other tools used by different people, different domains. And we saw the need for a solution to, uh, to close these gaps, the semantic gaps and technological gaps between the different tools, between the different roles in the automation process. And what is your longer strategy in terms of uh, finding a solution to, to close these gaps? Uh, we looked in the market what kind of solutions exist to close these gaps. And we saw just one approach, that is the one-for-all solution, which has been developed, tried to be developed by different vendors uh, with less or more success. But we as our mantra is to open alternatives to the automation uh, technologists, tried to find a solution which allows the integration of heterogeneous tool environments, and uh, there existed nothing. And we talked to partners from research projects from Technical University if they have got see a sol possible solution for this problem. So if I understand you correctly, we see a distinction between, let's say, quite closed environments from probably big companies that have tool chains that are all from one vendor and that are sometimes more or less integrated, but as soon as you want to decide for specific tools, for specific purposes from different vendors, the integration of these tools is pretty much an uh, unsolved problem. Is this correct? Absolutely correct. It's the difference between the one-for-all solution and the best-of-breed solutions, which we favor. Uh, and we see a on the one hand, we see a lot of chances in the best of breed solutions because every every programmer, every user, every technical in, technician in the automation process has the possibility to choose the tools which is best for his particular problem. And on the other hand, the problem is that there is no integration uh, between different tools of in other domains in the automation process. Now, you mentioned briefly that you contacted also the university and the Christian Doppler lab, after all, was also a result of that. Uh, so, as I understand it correctly, there is a difference between researching such integration issues and uh, making production, I mean, I mean uh, developing products. Is this the reason why you participate in the Christian Doppler Lab? We, we have a lot of experience with software development over the years, but we saw quite quickly that 
uh, solution in this problem in integration, semantical and technical integration of heterogeneous tool environments is not just a software development issue. It's a research issue, issue as well. And we talked to Professor Biffel uh, how if we could could make a research project, a funded research project to solve this issue, but we saw a better solution could be a Christian Doppler laboratory who has the possibility to work over several years, seven years, to find solutions and in parallel we are trying to develop products resulting from the research, founded on the research results in, in the Christian Doppler lab. So. What, what, what is your expectation on the Christian Doppel Lab when you see in the future to, uh, to the next years? Uh, we are working quite closely with uh, industry partners, customers or not customers of us, that's uh, our strategy, to involve them in the research and development process and to evaluate quite quickly solutions, research solutions, built into software prototypes and get the feedbacks f feedback from our industry partners. And though we are confident that we can develop products over the years, not just after seven years, which fulfill the needs of the industry. So what, when I understand you correctly, the Christian Doppel Lab is not only a cha um, should not offer you only research uh, for your products, but also integrate different industries that you probably are not so good connected at the moment? Of course, the, the Christian Double Lab is, is a, a form of neutral, neutral competence center which can bring together the different industries and, and with the know-how from the researchers and software development know-how coming from us and from the Technical University as well, uh, we are quite confident that it is a good approach. Okay, I'm looking forward to our collaboration over the next years. And thank you very much for the talk. Thank you.